Hey guys, so today I was, well I was requested like yesterday to do a um, eyeshadow palette collection, like an ASMR. And I was like, yay, that's a great idea because I never thought of that. I already did a um, makeup collection, but I thought I would go more into depth about like the eyeshadow palettes I have. Now since I already have a makeup collection on my channel, I'm not going to be um, like holding my phone and showing you the whole time. I mean, I'm going to, but I'm also going to like at the, like the end half of my video, I don't know how to say it. Um, I'm gonna like go into depth about some of my favorite palettes and talk about, you know, them. Okay, so, um, yeah. I don't have the biggest collection. I wouldn't even call my collection that big. I mean, some people might say it is, um, and some people might not. But I have a good amount of eyeshadows. I don't feel like I ever need to buy any more. If I do, it's out of just desiring a, pa a palette. I don't really need any. But, um, yeah, so I thought I'd show you my collection. I've had a lot of this stuff for a while. Um, and some of it I really, really loved. So I'd love to talk about it with you guys. And um, thank you to, I believe her name is Amy. She commented on my video and she requested this. I want to say thank you so much to her because this is such a great idea. I didn't even think of it, and I'm really excited to um, film it. So let's get started. Okay. So I hold some of my like eyeshadow palettes that I use on like a typical basis on this. Um, it's like a folder holder. Never mind. Um, from like. Staples. It's mainly for like folders, but I use it for my palettes. A lot of makeup gurus do this, so I'm sure you've seen this before, but yeah, I just want to show you that's basically my setup right here. And oh yeah, the lucky charms, chapstick. Okay, so yeah, I have like a Morphe palette, all of my makeup palettes. I have like three. I think there's like four or five in the collection. I don't know if I'm gonna get any more. This is not an eyeshadow palette, but it's my favorite highlight palette, so I keep it there because I use it basically every time I do my makeup. And then my Norvina palette by Anastasia, which is one of my favorites, probably my favorite palette ever. And um, yeah. So that's this little area. Now, let me sit. Okay. Okay, so in this top drawer right here, I have more. Okay, so these two, the lids broke. So I keep them here because this is what I do. I don't actually take like the palette out of the drawer. Like, I'll just, sorry, I'll just take like a brush and like get a color on there. Like, I don't know, like this. And then I'll like. That's why they're like so open. So, yeah. Then I have my Rim Decay All Nighter Spray. I don't really use that that much, but it works when I do. Um, this is another one of my favorite palettes. It's so summery. And yeah, it kind of goes pretty far back. The ones that are back there, I don't use that often, but I keep them anyways. So, yeah. contour palette that I love. I think I've talked about that, but I've had that forever. It smells like hot chocolate, so yeah. So that's where I keep my eyeshadows, and now I'm just going to um, talk about some of my favorite ones and show you them. So yeah. So, the first palette I'm going to talk about is Laura Lee, which is actually a YouTuber. And she has her palette. It's, she probably has more makeup palettes, but I don't know about them. I received this. Actually, like, two of the palettes I'm going to show you I received in a boxy charm, so I didn't purchase them myself. But I loved them, so, yeah. So, yeah, this is the Laura Lee palette. It's called Party Animal. 
And these were like really fun, bright colors, which I have no problem with. As you can see, I actually did like like a sunset rainbow look on my eyes. I don't know, it's really colorful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have drinks, bottoms up, hungover, karaoke, damage control, and it's a party. So let me swatch them. I'm gonna swatch damage control because it's so pretty and drinks so pretty good pigmentation I like that they're not too much because I mean I personally don't want my eyeshadow to be like too cakey like I like that it's blendable and buildable so that's why I really like this palette but I don't really use it that often I'm just really fascinated by the colors, I just think they're fun to look at and play with, so, yeah. Next one is by Ace Beauty. It's called the Grandiose Palette, and what I love about this is that it's, like, Egyptian looking, like, it looks like a goddess would use this. Like, like, look at the colors. It's just so, like, royal and fancy. But these colors are amazing, and these have extremely good pigmentation. So, oh my gosh, I almost dropped some. We have Jasmine, Patchouli, Clove, Rose, Myrtle, Poppy, Cinnamon, and Primrose. So, when I'm going to swatch, I'm thinking Rose because it really does look like a rose. That's nice. Myrtle. Wow. Wow. And primrose. Primrose, whatever. As you can see, Myrtle is like the winner here. It is super pigmented. And that's primrose, and that's rose. I really love this palette. And this is the 35 Frost. And this one is gorgeous. I just don't really use it that much. Um, because I don't use shimmer that much. But these are really nice. Um, I love Morphe. Their palettes are like really good quality. And um, they're not expensive. And they give you so many colors in one palette. That are like easy for everyday wear. The only thing that makes me sad is that there's no names, and if you know me, you know I love names on anything. I love names on nail polishes, I love names on my lip glosses, on my eyeshadows, so that's what makes me a little bit disappointed, but it's okay because the colors are super pretty. So, let's do some swatching. So as you can see, Morphe has really great pigmentation, so it's like definitely one of the top makeup palette brands that there is. Um, yeah. So, this is the frosty white. This is like the army green, and that's like the plum color. Which, I gotta say, looked a lot more purple in the palette than on the skin. So, that's a little strange, but it's okay. Neutrals palette. And I love this one because it's like a little book. And it also comes with two cream eyeshadows. Oops. And this pink one is, is It's Complicated. Guilty Pleasure. This creamy white color is called My Bluff. Buff. And then this brownish shade with like rainbow shimmer is called Kiss Me on Tipsy. And I love that color because it's so unique. It has a little book thing that you can open. And that's me like 800 times. Okay. That you can open and it gives you like advice on how to apply the eyeshadow. Which is so awesome. This is a great palette for everyday use. And it's really cool because there's like a little pretty princess on the book cover. So yeah. 
Um, I got this as a birthday gift from Sephora. That's why it's kind of like small and cute. But yeah, you can get it at Sephora. The original palette. Which I have talked about before. Before. This is a gray palette. I don't regret buying this for ever. All of the shadows are matte, which you can actually get this exact palette in shimmers. But like I said, I'm a matte eyeshadow person. And actually, most of the shadows I used today are from this palette. So I used this bright yellow sunshine color. I used this limeish green, this dark green, like a jade shade, and I used a little bit of this blue here on my lower lash line over like the greens, and I used this hot pink on my outer V, and yeah, that was what I did today. And it has 80 eyeshadows, which is like amazing. And, uh, I really love doing like colorful eyeshadows for the spring, so this palette's really fun for that and summer. So that's all coming up. So if you want a new eyeshadow palette, this is definitely one of my favorites, and I recommend it. That's why it was my last one because it's the best. Thank you for requesting this, Amy. I really, really had a lot of fun making it, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any more requests, guys, leave them below. I love hearing them and you guys really do inspire me so thank you for that and I also wanted to say thank you um because I reached 300 and like two or three subscribers and that really means a lot to me I love that you guys are subscribed to my channel because I love making YouTube videos and it really means a lot and yeah I just wanted to say that I noticed that and it made me really happy so yeah um so I guess that's it I will see you guys in my next video. Oh my god, look at my rainbow hand.